Hello everyone, this is Charlie Aurora Kocher and I'm back here with Kulraj Shapuri for Love You Zindagi. We are back here to chat. Hi Kulraj. Hi Shalini and this is Love You Zindagi, the telecommuting version of it. How about that? Yeah, true. You know, I'm not going to actually waste time discussing what the situation, the circumstances that we're in. I think everybody's pretty much aware of what's going on. I think that there is my viewpoint and I know yours too is that things are just not going to be the same even after this and how people need to handle it. So why don't we start with you giving us your insight into it and then we take it forward from there. People are experimenting with a lot more family time activities that never had they done before, but they always wanted to get around to them. So all those things that people wanted to get around to, I think those things are now going to be transformative and permanent in many ways for a lot of people because uh, I don't know if you remember, did you ever watch that movie Contact in which Matthew McConaughey is saying, you know, all of this technology, are we really happy as a human race? And the answer I found out and a lot of people have found out is no, because I don't know how you were, but I used to wait every single day for my Amazon parcel to get here or something I've ordered from AliExpress and all those little things used to give me that little dopamine kick every time I was opening something up. Nothing's being delivered anymore. All my deliveries have been canceled and I'm just as happy. In fact, I'm finding happiness in so many other things. I know like you, I'm a reader. But I'm reading a little more, I'm making it more meaningful, I'm writing things down. And this, I think, is what a lot of people are doing. What have you been seeing from your clients, Shalini? What are the type of things that they've been doing and telling you about? You know, I have to share this with you that um, I'm, I'm staying with my mom right now because I moved back from Monaco. And my mother says that, I don't know why you all are fretting and crying about. We didn't have any internet, no television, nothing. Of course, she doesn't understand that we're used to it. So for us, it's going back to the basics, right? But however, the fact of the matter is that we all know this part of life as well. We have lived a simple and humble living. We just got, you know, uh, we got luxury and we were able to indulge in it. But it should not be that ba bad for us to go back to it. And that's what I believe that we have to celebrate every moment. And these constant discussions that people are having on the phone, when will it happen? What will it happen? is what is leading to all these various emotions that they're experiencing. So instead, I think that the thought process should be that if you're not traveling in traffic, you will have more productivity, right? Yeah, so people have to start changing that perspective and slowly we'll start adapting to this lifestyle. I'm seeing that a lot of people are actually embracing technology in whole new ways. Uh, you and I, we deal with so many coaches and coaches who weren't doing webinars, but they knew they should have doing, been doing them. Coaches that knew they should have been going live on the internet and doing so many things. They're actually doing those now. And you know what? They'll never go back to who they were before, those scared people who said, karunga, how am I going to do this? They're actually embracing these technologies. And even people like me who were, who were very uh, scared that you know, how is my staff going to work from home? I was never trusting of people. And now I, I have to deal with it. It's the reality and we're making the best of it. And those things are going to be permanent. And when somebody asks me, sir, can I work from home? When people ask their bosses, people are going to say, yeah, why not? We did it a long time ago. So we did it in this whole lockdown time. Why can't people do it? And I, that, I think that transformative shift is going to become permanent in people's minds. I think I have to tell you that you're looking really sharp, Kulraj. So for you, you clearly believe in the policy of get up, dress up and show up. We can do this from home. And I think mm -hmm. even from my side, I would like to tell people that, you know, don't be afraid to start afresh because we're not starting from scratch. We're starting from experience. So it's okay. So let's move forward and love you, in the gi. Shandi, on a talk with you, you were saying something about we're all working from experience. We're not working from scratch. What did you mean by that? You know, this is actually my favorite one these days because I just want to tell people that don't be afraid because we're not starting from scratch. We're starting from experience. So we can do this. Look at our friend Guraj here, who's always ready to take on the world, dressed up for it. So we can all do it and we all love Zindagi. What do you think, Guraj? Exactly. We're not going to start from scratch. We're going to start from experience. Thanks for joining in, everybody. Till next time, love you, Zindagi. Love you, Zindagi. See you guys soon.